we think of computers as super complicated, high-tech machines with very tiny parts. They can also be huge, wooden, and mechanical, just like this computer here. And even though they look very different, they're both made of the same basic part, a switch. One switch doesn't seem very interesting. It's either off or on. But if we arrange switches in a specific pattern, we can do math or logic. For instance, this circuit turns on the light if both switches are turned on. But this circuit turns on the light if either or both switches are turned on. If we connect more switches, we can do more complex math or logic. So fundamentally, a computer is just a carefully constructed arrangement of switches. A light switch has a mechanical input and an electrical output. But because the input and output types are different, we can't connect the output of one to the input of another. In order to make more complicated circuits, we need a switch with the same input and output types so that we can string a bunch of switches together. Our Digicomp has switches with a mechanical input and mechanical output. Just like a light switch, these switches have two states, either left and right, off and on, or zero and one. What's really cool here is that instead of programming this computer by writing code, we program it by physically setting the position of several different switches. I'll now set this computer to count the number of balls in the top tray by setting the count switch to on. The sum is given by this bank of switches here. We'll set the sum to zero before we start counting. Now let's start counting by pressing this lever. problem the computer solved was 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, plus 1. As the ball goes through the system, it changes the first switch from a 0 to a 1, so that the sum now reads 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, or simply 1. Now let's count the second ball. Happen this time. I'll reset the sum back to 1. The math problem that we solved was 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 plus 1. The digicomp adds 1 to the first switch, but since it's already full, it carries the 1 to the second switch. The sum ends up being 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, which is 2 in binary. Let's count the third ball. After the third ball, we can see that the sum is now 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, which is 3 in binary. In addition to counting, the Digicomp can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. The number of switches determines how big the numbers can be. This Digicomp has 31 switches and can count up to 127. But modern computer chips have over a billion switches. They're made from wafers such as this one, where each square represents a chip. They're made from semiconductor switches called transistors, which have the advantage of being solid state, meaning they have no moving parts. This allows engineers like me to make them smaller, faster, and more energy efficient. We can make them over a billion times faster than the Digicomp. These semiconductor switches make modern electronics possible. Mm -hmm.